Hello, my name is Ali, and welcome to my channel. We are back with Hakuoki Kyoto Winds, Saito's route. Let's go. None of the Shinsengumi remained outside, but I heard a voice ring out from inside that sounded much like Kondo's. I'll take the front. Guess I'll take the back then. They gave each other a curt nod, then turned to lead their men. I couldn't stand there by myself. I decided to, because I've already tried to record this two different times, it shows that I've already clicked follow Saito, but that's what we're going to do. I watched Harada and his men as they ran around towards the back of the inn and turned to Saito. Can I go with you, Saito? He glanced back at me, then quickly turned away. Stay behind me. If I must be impeded by your presence, then watch out for my sword. He was even colder than usual, and I was suddenly aware of just how much of a burden I was. I I'm sorry. Perhaps it would be best for me to stay put and be quiet, so as to cause no one any further trouble. I don't care to see you die, but it is not my job to protect you. He sounded annoyed, but it didn't seem like it was with me. He looked toward the inn. His eyes narrowed. We're going in. Men, follow me. Then we charged into the Ikata Inn. Ah! The warm, coppery stench of blood hit me like a fist to the stomach. Ugh. Arg. With a single blow, Saito dispatched, dispatched a man near the door, his pace barely slowing. You're here. Excellent. We could use the backup. Kondo gave a grin as he spoke, then turned to split a ronin on his sword. With his free hand, he gestured at us to stay back. I'm fine. You should head upstairs and see to Soji. Hey, Saito. Looks like you're out of luck, pal. Don't think I left any for you. Huh. I'll let it slide this time. Nagakira came out from the back, and he hung, hung his exposed sword out and laughed in his usual way. Maybe he had one intense battle. There was blood all over his uniform, and it seemed like his left hand was dripping with blood, too. You're hurt! Did this come as a surprise? This is a sword fa fight. You think this is bad? You should see Heisuke. Th that's not funny. Nagakira grinned at me as Saito began barking orders to his men. Don't let any of them escape. We needn't hold back. Kill any who resist. Saito let our injured evacuate. His voices steal. His voices steal. Voices. I think it's supposed to be his voice is steel, and the grimace on his face betrayed his emotions. Oh. That was when I finally understood. It wasn't anger I saw in him. It was concern. He was worried for the men of the Shinsengumi. The frustration of not being able to fight with them. Of not being at their side. <coughs> that was why he'd been in such a hurry. Can you treat the injured? You are the daughter of a doctor, after all. Yes, I can. The words were out of my mouth before I realized they probably needed something of a disclaimer. Well, I mean, I could do first aid. That's plenty. Thanks. Well, he gave a little smile. To me, it seemed only natural to care about one's friends, but I'd always seen Saito as distant. He hadn't struck me as the sort to care for anyone, so I never even guessed that that could have been the source of his frustration. The truth was he wasn't nearly as cold as I thought. As I watched him dive into battle, his sword, a light of hope, for his comrades in arms. I wondered how I could have ever thought so. And yes. Finally, the sun rose from this black sky. The raid itself had lasted only two hours, but for me, at least, it had felt far longer. There had been 20 Imperial Nationalists at the Ikeda Inn. The Shinsengumi had killed seven Ronin and injured four more. I learned later that with the help of the Aizu Domain and the Kyoto Judiciary Commissioner, they arrested 23 people. The owner of the Ikeda Inn had also been arrested for trying to help the Choshu rebels escape. 
The Shinsengumi had won an incredible battle, fighting against superior numbers of enemies, enemy territory, but they paid dearly for it. Okita had taken a blow to the chest and lost consciousness. Heisuke had be been cut on the forehead, and the bleeding refused to stop. Na Nagakira had, had injured his left hand. One of the Shinsengumi soldiers lost his life at the inn's rear entrance. The two others were severely injured there as well. It didn't seem likely that they would survive. The Kyoto military and judiciary commissioners also fought the Choshi Ronin. With their successful resolution of the Battle of Ikado Inn, the Shinsengumi had, at last, made a name for themselves. It looked as though the peace in Kyoto had been protected. Never could I have imagined what the ultimate result of their victory would be. Okay, that took a while. It's going to take five years to come back on. There, here we go. July 1864. Okie dokie. End of July 1864. Weeks passed since the battle... Oh, sorry. <laughs> Hiccup. Redo. <laughs> Weeks passed since the battle of the Ikeda Inn. In the meantime, the Shinsengumi grew stricter during the, their rounds to arrest the numerous outlaw ronin that escaped from the Ikeda Inn. Rumors surfaced of extremists who were plotting the, to exact revenge on the Shinsengumi. Jeez, can't read. Additionally, there were also problems occurring with warriors spanning from other domains, making things tense around the headquarters. Things were finally settling down. As a result of my efforts during the battle, they grew more encouraging of my involvement. The Shinsengumi allowed me to sweep the area in front of the headquarters on my own. One day I was cleaning the courtyard with a broom when I heard gentle footsteps approaching me. What did I do with his voice? I don't remember. Excuse me, is this the Shinsengumi headquarters? Oh, yes. The voice came from behind me, so I was caught off guard when answering. You're... Huh? Um, come on, there we go. <laughs> Hijikata showed up suddenly as if he telepathically knew I was speaking to someone. Oh, Hijikata, this man is... Before I could finish my sentence, the man ran towards Hijikata. Oh, I knew it! Toshi! It's me! Hachiro! Long time no see! Y your Wait, Hachiro? What the hell are you doing here? When Hijikata realized who it was, his eyes grew wide. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> <laughs> are you surprised? I visited Kyoto with, with shogunate orders. Forget about me, man. So... It really was you connected with to the Shinsengumi? I couldn't believe it until I made sure of it for myself. Congratulations, you really did become a samurai. Aw, oh, come on. Don't mock me. I mean, we're treated no better than any ronin. Yes, but your dream of becoming a samurai came true. Hey, I said don't mock me. Oh, come now. The Shinsengumi are famous in Edo. You are so feared and even that even crying children go hushed. I heard about your victory at the Akeda Inn. It would seem you lot are flourishing. I can't believe I'm sucking at reading today. I do apologize. I may make this episode shorter due to the fact that I'm having issues. Hmm. Well, we're working on it. He's blushing. How very unlike himself. Hijigata seemed to be flustered and his cheeks were rosy. Judging from their conversation, it appeared that this gentleman had come to visit Hijikata. The rhythm of their rapport seemed to suggest that they had been friends for quite some time. Once I verified their conversation had come to a halt, I mustered the courage to speak to Hijikata. Um, Hijikata? May I ask who this is? Oh, yeah. You two haven't met, I take it. Oh, I haven't introduced myself yet, huh? I'm Hachiro Iba. I'm a Hatamoto of the shogunate Jikisan, and I'm an Okuzume of the Obanshi. Jeez, 
<laughs> too many hard words. <laughs> oh, I'm Chizuru Yukimura. Chizuru, nice to meet you officially. Uh, oh, yes, nice to meet you too. As soon as Iba and I finished our introductions, Hijikata was inclined to get us indoors. Hey, we don't need to have this conversation out in the sun. Why don't you come inside? I'm actually going to let this go here due to the fact that I'm having so many issues reading and my throat's kind of scratchy too. So anyway, I hope you are enjoying and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!